have a great idea for solving a big public problem. You just might get paid for it, but that is coming up in just a second. We're going to start with dogs and why so many companies think bringing dogs to work might be a good idea. And here to tell us all about it is small business expert Susan Solovic, who joins us to tell us why some companies are going to the dogs. Susan, thanks for being here. That's right, Tanya. Thank you. So is it true that there are companies that actually want you to bring your dog to work? Yes, there are some absolute business benefits to having dogs in the workplace. The university or the Virginia Commonwealth University did a study and found that if dogs are at work with their employees, those employees have reduced levels of the stress hormone cortisol. And the CDC found that dogs in the workplace also reduce blood pressure and cholesterol. So it creates a healthier workplace. Healthier workers have more productivity, which increases your bottom line. But also for small businesses, this is a real attractive benefit to a lot of employees. So it helps you to attract that great talent that you need to grow your business. What about collaboration? Does it help that as well? It does. One of the companies I talked to said a lot of their employees who bring their dogs, um, people from other departments will come over, they'll pet the dog, they'll spend a little time and the employees converse in a way that they might not normally do so they get to talk about ways they can work together. There have got to be some other things to consider before you bring them in because not everyone is a dog lover and some employees are bound to be allergic. That's true so the best recommendation there is to set up a company committee to study the aspect of bringing the dogs to work. You want to make sure you do have everybody's buy-in so you've got to consider those allergies maybe somebody is just deathly afraid of dogs so you need to make sure that every Everybody's on board, you've got the buy-in. If somebody is allergic, is there a way that you can keep that person away from with the dogs in that area in order to make everybody happy? But you've got to take that in consideration. What about the mess? Who's going <laughs> to clean up that mess? Yes, dogs will be dogs, yes. won't they? Yes. So the messes. Well, typically you've got to make sure that employees understand if there's a little accident, they're responsible for cleaning it up. As the employer, though, you need to have those cleaning supplies on hand. And some companies have the three-strike rule, Tanya, which is three Three strikes and you're out of here. <laughs> but is there a liability to consider? What if the dog bites another employee? Right. Before anybody brings a pet, whether it's a dog or any kind of a pet, onto the premises, you need to check with your attorney and your insurance carrier to make sure you're covered so you know what the liability is and that you're protected. All right. Certainly would be fun to have a cute little fuzzy oh, one around here. <laughs> my little dog, Maxwell, he's the chairman of the bone at my company. Oh, that's so cute. Next yes, time you should bring him along I with will. you. I will. I will bring him. He'd love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for All that, right, Susan. Thanks.